What's up, YouTube? Today I am officially five weeks on T. It's amazing. Like, it's hard to believe that five weeks ago I was pre everything, you know. Um, this is my mom's old Kango hat. She used to wear this joint like crazy. So, yeah, shout out to my mom for this hat. Um, anyway. Yeah, it's hard to believe that I'm, like, five weeks on T or whatever. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I just, like, sit back and I'm like, what the hell? Like, the other day I heard my old voicemail. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to change that. <sighs> Sorry this video so late. I went to the dentist today and so my mouth is still numb. Like, thankfully, my ear's not numb anymore or my freaking right nostril. My tongue's not numb anymore, which is good, but uh, my lip is still numb and my gums and stuff. Yeah. I was trying to wait. I went to the dentist almost six hours ago, so I was trying to wait it out and um, make this video, but I just, I got tired of waiting. It's getting late. I got to go to work tomorrow, and I have to stay an hour late because... My supervisor was like, oh, Eli, I heard that you were coming into work early tomorrow. And I was like, um, fuck no. I'm about to be here tomorrow at five in the morning. And he was like, you need to start work some overtime, putting some overtime in. I was like, how about I stay an hour late tomorrow? And five in the morning, get out of here. Like. Five in the morning? Uh-uh. I'm not waking up at four o'clock in the morning if I don't have to to be at work. Hell no. But anyway. So let's see. Changes, changes, changes. Okay. One thing that I noticed a few... I don't know how long ago. But I don't know if you can see this. Mm, but my facial hair is getting thicker. I had all this hair... From like here to here, it's probably like 50. And then I sideburns grow down long. And my I have a few right here and then some on my neck. I've always had these hairs, but they were a lot thinner. Um, Not as curly. Not as curly. I can't even feel this, so it feels weird to my face because it's numb, but... Now they're a little bit more coarse. They're thicker. A little more curly. I don't know if you guys can see that. Mm. And then I got hairs on my neck. but So the hair on my face is getting a little bit more coarse. Um, my voice has been doing this kind of weird like. Sometimes it's a little deeper, sometimes it's a little higher. So I'm guessing that it's probably going to drop again pretty soon in like the next couple of weeks, which I'm really hoping for. That would be amazing to have my voice go down again. Um, I talked to my uncle for the first time like um, since I started my transition. I think on Saturday or Sunday, I can't remember which day. But my mom passed me the phone, and he was like, oh, damn, you sound like uh, my cousin. He was like, your voice is getting deep. So that was pretty good. I was really happy to hear that it's it's good when you talk to people that you don't talk to every day or that haven't heard your voice in a while because then they, they're they really shocked, really alarmed. So that was great. Um, let's see what else. Besides that, I haven't really noticed any changes that haven't been going on before. Um, where's my phone? So, it's now January, obviously. Um, but the reason I mention that is because it should be around the time coming up, I believe, that I should be getting my next cycle. I don't... Let me see. When did I put the last one in? Yeah, I got one December 1st through the 5th. 
And then I got one December 24th through, I guess, December 24th through, I think, the 28th, because I didn't track that one. So, I, I don't think I'm going to have it. I hope I don't have a, a cycle this month. That would be amazing not to have a cycle this month, like this early on in my transition. It would be amazing to not have a cycle, but I'm not sure. I'll just have to wait and see. And so I've just been kind of waiting to see what happens with that. Um, I've been packing every day. Yeah, every single day except for I didn't. No, every day, yeah. I packed every day this past week. If I don't go out, out, I don't really pack. I mean, wearing it around the house is it feels great and everything like that, but I don't I don't always pack sometime when I'm home. Especially if I'm just like laying in bed or whatever. Um, what else? Week, week five weeks in is kind of weird because there's not like a whole lot of stuff going on that didn't happen last week. Oh, okay. So last week on the tenth was like the anniversary of my starting tea. I didn't really do anything special. It was just you know, wasn't that big a deal. Friday, which was the eleventh, I was supposed to go to the VA Indo, but the roads were pretty icy out here, and um. There was a lot of people running off the road, and then there was, like, a bus fire on the freeway that day. Like, I don't know what the fuck happened, but <laughs> I woke up that morning and took my sisters to school. And it was on TV that, like, a bus caught on fire on the 5, and I was like, what the hell? And then they were like, oh, the roads were really icy, and a lot of people were spinning out everywhere and getting into car wrecks. And that drive is, like... It's about an hour with good roads conditions. So I decided to take the L and reschedule the appointment because it made more sense for me to be safe and stay home than to go out into that environment. Because I'm a good driver in the snow or in the ice. I've definitely like been in a situation where I've had to drift into oncoming traffic and like tapping the brakes just barely turning the wheel and stuff to keep from slamming into all the cars at the red light in front of me and then to keep you know me and my passenger safe I've been in that situation and I've been driving in like snowy conditions like every year since I learned how to drive well every year since I was 18 when I got my first car so I'm pretty experienced at driving in the snow but it's everybody else that I can't account for so I rescheduled the appointment. It's not going to be till March, which is like a long way. But um, I have my tea, and it's going to last me well past March. Mm, excuse me. I uh, have a doctor at a clinic that I need to go to get the blood work done for um, my month and a half. So I need to make an appointment with her this week and try and get in there next week. But it's like, you know, one of those things where... The VA is so that I can get everything pretty much for free and then have um, my VA doctors take care of it so I don't have to go to so many different doctors. But having the, like, tea already and being on tea and then having uh, the clinic where I started at still accessible to me, it's not making me feel, you know, too pressed for a time or too pressed for, um, you know, a sooner appointment. So I have an appointment in March. Um, what else? Yeah. So I was kind of, I was kind of bummed that I didn't get to that appointment, but at the same time, it was kind of like, well, I got a day off work. So, um, I had some paid time off, so that helped out a lot. Um, yeah, so that was great. Besides that, I have also noticed that, uh, some of the veins in my arm are getting a little bigger. Like, I don't know if you can see the veins in the back of my hand. 
they're more visible now than they used to be like all the time and they are starting to get just a little bit thicker so I heard that you know your veins do that this hand is like crazy I don't know why my left hand is so big well the veins at least I hope that that translates to the veins and you know the crook of my arm so that when I get my blood work done they're easier to find and they're not like rolling around everywhere and I don't have to get stuck like four or five times in each arm and then I look like you know an addict and I'm all bruised up and stuff because that's no fun at all um work is still going well um everybody's still chill about my transition nobody said anything outlandish uh today I kind of got misgendered but the guy like apologized immediately so like most of the people there if they have trouble with pronouns then they just use Eli which is very respectable to me I can respect that um Not not a lot is going on. Well, my nose isn't sore anymore. Well, a little bit, but not a whole lot. So that's great. It doesn't hurt as bad. Libido is kind of like... Uh, yeah. Like, still think about sex a lot. A lot, a lot. But, um, not as horny throughout the day which is good I um, still have very vivid dreams but um, dreams are better than walking around on 10 all the time because that's it's not good at all it's very hard to concentrate on stuff um, what else sleep I still have trouble with insomnia and stuff but I'm sleeping a lot like still during the day eating a lot too and my appetite is I wouldn't say getting bigger but I'm hungry more frequently so I'm still eating about well I'm eating a little bit more than I was before I was on tea but now I'm eating way more often so I've been supplementing my diet with like uh, tiger's milk protein bars and stuff like that just because um you know, get protein in and stuff. I started doing push-ups and sit-ups and stuff just because um, I haven't really gotten to the gym lately. I've been um, just too exhausted and then also, like, been having some issues with my ankle. So the gym, like, running and shit is not really the business. So I've been doing stuff here in my house, in my room. Um... I can't really think of anything else like I said like five weeks there haven't really been too many changes um no my mustache isn't coming in but one of my friends commented that they that she thought it was and then one of my friends said my face looks completely different which I don't think so I think my face looks the same so um I don't know. It looks the same to me. Um, the oily skin. This um, this past week, I noticed it wasn't as oily. It's still kind of oily, but it wasn't as oily. I'm still doing the same wash and witch hazel and lotion. But I don't know if that's because the weather here is getting colder. Like, before... The past few weeks it's been cold but we've had rain so there's been moisture in the air which you know kind of keeps your skin a little bit more supple or whatever but the past week and then supposedly for the next couple weeks we're not supposed to get any rain so the air has been a little bit drier so I don't know if that's affecting my skin or not it's really hard to tell what is the tea and what is like the environment here because you know, they're both happening at the same exact time. And I didn't live here last year. I was in San Diego, California. So the climate there is completely different. Um, I did my shot today. 
and it was a really good like my shots are never bad per se but this time there was like no blood at all um usually i get like a little 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 drop of blood but this time there was no blood at all so it went really well um yeah besides that there really aren't a lot of things to update on this week um my nails are still growing the same like they were before tea which I thought I thought my nails would slow down a little bit but no my nails are still growing like really fast compared to pre-tea so that's kind of interesting and also I've been having pain in my knees like in my Oshkin slaughters and stuff so I don't know if that means like my muscles in my legs are pulling on my bones and causing them to be sore but I've been having some issues with my Oshkin slaughters and also sometimes um my calf muscles are just sore for no reason like yeah no reason I don't pull a lot of stairs or a lot of heels so I don't know what's going on with that that's probably the most to update I haven't noticed any redistribution of fat um mainly because I don't have any fat really I'm probably about mm, 12 to 15 percent body fat so there wasn't a lot to be moving around at all so I haven't noticed any of that and my mom and my sister said that my shoulders and kind of like this area I guess like my wings kind of look a little broader but um I haven't noticed it but I see myself every day so you know I'm also still on track to getting top surgery this year I haven't talked to a doctor yet just because um I kind of want to wait on this new job to see what the vacation time is going to be like or what options I have for getting a uh, voluntary surgery but also a surgery that is very necessary to my transition my mental health and all that so I have to see what kind of stuff goes down with that but yeah, I'm, I'm still on track, saving money. In about five months, I should have money for all my expenses, like uh, travel, lodging, food, all that stuff. So, not just the surgery. So, I'll keep you guys posted on that. If you have any questions, like always, you can hit me up on Tumblr, or you can leave a comment, or you can email me. Um... I answer back to everything as soon as I can. Unless I'm at work, you'll get an immediate response or I'm asleep. Um, also, I would just like to say keep your head up because um, it's better. It's just so much better. I haven't really had as much depression or dysphoria. Now that I'm on T, I have something to look forward to every week and the changes that are happening which are a lot faster than I thought are um, keeping me uplifted so yeah I just want to tell everyone much love because even though I don't know you as trans people not just trans men or trans women we're all in this together much love and I you always have my support and I just hope that everyone out there is able to see the silver lining on that rain cloud because, you know, they're definitely out here and it's, you know, it gets tough. It gets really tough. So just keep your head up. Hit me up if you need anything. Like I said, I'm always here. I'm always open to any type of feedback that you have, positive, negative questions, whatever. Just let me know. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.